Happy New Comic Book Day, everybody. I'm at home, but let's get into today's haul. First things first, please, if you like what I'm doing, if you enjoy my content, please like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. It's definitely, definitely appreciated. And I can't express it enough, honestly. So with that being said, let's move on. Well, as you can see, I am doing my new comic book day haul at home. And I mean, that's pretty much because... I'm a knucklehead. I forgot my tripod that I use in my car. Uh, I forgot that. I forgot that at home. <laughs> so I said, you know what? Let's just do it at home. So here we are. And uh, with that being said, um, I get to Heroes today, and this week was going to be a, a Marvel heavy week for me, um, but it became more of a Marvel heavy week for me because for whatever reason, um, they're always having issues, man. So for whatever reason, my LCS did not receive their DC comics. Well, let me rephrase that. Apparently they had five boxes for DC comics that they were supposed to get, but they only got one. And, uh, yeah, so I'm still I, the the two that I'm missing that I did was not able to pick up this week is Catwoman, the Gotham War Part Five. Um, I did not pick that up this week, and I also uh, was a, unable to p pick up the Batman Superman's World's Finest for this week. So a little bit bummed about that, but there was one that I was able to pick up. And there's also another one that, because of the mishap, non-delivery, whatever you want to call it, there was another book that I did pick up that I didn't pick up previously. I think it was last week when it came out. But we'll get into that. So, total, a total of nine books today. Nine books. Seven. Seven are Marvel. No independence to DC books. So, let's get into the uh, DC books. So, for the two DC comics that I picked up this week, uh, we're going to start off with the one that I picked up that I did not pick up. Uh, I think it came out last week or the week before. I, I'm not sure. I can't remember. But, Wesley Dodd's Sandman. I heard a lot of really great things about this comic, and to be honest, I don't have a lot of um, knowledge or experience of Sandman. Um, I guess the most recent um, experience I had with him was during the, the Night Terrors event that, that just happened, um, and I liked him in that comic. So, and, and I know that was just like a small taste into like the bigger realm of the character, but I figured this would help. Uh, so, I, like I said, heard a lot of great things. So, you know, I was like, you know what? The, 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 the shipping mishap for my LCS, I guess, kind of allowed it to happen for me to pick it up. So, Wesley Dodd's Sandman, issue one. And then uh, the other comic that I picked up. Now, I only have three DC comics on my pull list this week. Like I already mentioned, the two that I did not w was not able to pick up, but the one I was able to pick up was actually Superman issue seven, and I picked up this variant cover. Uh, my initial intention was to just get the main cover, um, but they only had this. Um, they only had this variant cover, as well as the the negative, uh, the negative space variant cover, which actually looked cool, but. I figured this looked cooler. So, uh, yeah. So I picked this one up. This is like Legacy 850, I think, because they didn't really put that on, on this cover. But, uh, yeah. So, Superman issue 7. And, uh, yeah. Now, 
while we're still on the subject of DC and my LCS, my LCS did say that we that they are going to get those other four boxes of comics, uh, DC comics in. So hopefully uh, by by next week, I'll have the Catwoman book as well as um, the World's Finest issue as well. So it's just a bummer. It's just a bummer. But anyway, that's my DC books for this week. So let's slide on over to the seven Marvel books. Now, like I said, seven Marvel books. So let's just get into it, right? So Scarlet Witch, the penultimate issue, issue nine. Uh, honestly, I haven't been reading these. This is, this is my wife's gig right here. So Scarlet Witch, issue nine. And then this is a sick cover right here, man. Miles Morales, Spider-Man, issue 11. We got Blade involved in here now, man. So, yeah, that's a sick cover. <laughs> so that's, that's probably probably one of the better Spider-Man books right now. Um, yeah, I'm not going to deviate. <laughs> so Incredible Hulk, issue 5. And uh, on here it says, plus a story plus a story featuring Power Man. All right. So I guess there's a backup story in here. I don't know what that's about, but I guess I'll find out when I read it. And I got to say, I do miss uh, Klein's artwork. I'm not too much of a fan of Foreman in his artwork. I know some people are, but I, I can't wait until Klein comes back on this book. But the story though, the story's good. The story's really solid. Philip Kennedy Johnson's doing a great job. So the Incredible Hulk issue five. And then the final issue that's gonna wrap up everything. Rob Liefeld, the man, Deadpool Batter Blood issue five with the Rob Liefeld variant. And now I have all five issues with the Rob Liefeld variant covers. So, you know, yeah. Kind of got man, and Spider Man, he did, he did a good job drawing Spider Man, man. So yeah, it's been a fun series. Definitely recommend it if you're a Deadpool fan, Spider Man, even a Spider Man fan. Wolverine's in this cable, um, yeah. So Deadpool Batter Blood issue five, and he did men uh, Rob Liefeld on his Rob Observations podcast did mention that uh. I don't know. I don't. I don't think he confirmed it or anything, but he did mention something about a Deadpool baddest blood in the future. I'm hoping. So anyway, the final issue, Deadpool Batter Blood issue five, and then got some Fall of X stuff right here. Children of the Vault issue three. Speaking of Deadpool, uh, Rob Liefeld, one of Cable right here, one of his guys. So yeah. This is this has been pretty interesting, pretty fun. So, uh, Children of the Vault issue three, and so I, I'm still giving this a chance. I'm not sold on it completely, but Daredevil issue two, to me the first issue was okay, nothing great, but uh, I, if I'm gonna see how I feel after this issue, if I decide I'm gonna keep keep moving on with it, but. We'll see. So Daredevil issue two. And the one I've been kind of looking forward to the most, one of the ones I've been looking forward to the most this week is Crypt of Shadows. Of course, it's a one shot, an anthology. Um, kind of gets you in the mood for the holiday, like Halloween kind of sp spirit. And it's going to do scary the Marvel way, right? So... Yeah, but I mean, dude, the cover is awesome, man. You got the Hulk, Daredevil, Scarlet Witch, Deadpool, my guy. You can't hold this thing, but Dead Deadpool. Um, then you got you know Man Thing. Like it's it's pretty cool, man. Werewolf by Night. I love this cover. I love this cover. So Crypt of Shadows, one shot issue one, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, can't wait to read this. It's gonna be fun. Well, there you have it. That is my haul for this week. Let me know what you picked up. What do you think of what I picked up? You know, 
I, I'm I'm enjoying it. I just wish I would have gotten all of my DC books. But they'll get here. They'll get here eventually. Hopefully sooner than later. They better be here next week. So that being said, man, hope you guys are picking up everything you wanted. Hope you got everything you wanted. <laughs> and I'm going to catch y'all in the next one.